Hey everyone, Jason from Bohemia Bees. It's the end of the summer and we're getting ready for winter and we're starting to put our supers away. These are called honey supers. Uh, they're the mediums that we use, uh, that we harvest our honey from. Uh, they're stored on top of the queen excluder uh, during the, uh, the nectar flow. And we actually uh, store, this is what we'll harvest the honey out of. Uh, this is a clean frame. You can see that this is one that we've uh, put out to, for the bees to clean. So once we put it in our extractor, you've seen that in a prior video, you can see it in the video here. Um, that's our extracting video. Uh, we'll also uh, take these frames and we'll hang them outside and the bees will naturally clean them or we'll put them back on top of the, uh, the colonies for them to clean them as well. But this is a clean frame that's been uncapped. It's completely dry. Uh, so we're gonna take these and we wanna store them. Uh, the first thing you need to worry about though is the uh, is make sure that they're prepped so that they don't have any wax moth or small hive beetle eggs. And the way you need to do that is to ensure that you've got all the, um, the, uh, the, the eggs that have been on the, the frame, sometimes in the corner of the frame, and the crevices, the, the small hive beetle or the wax moth have laid eggs that the bees uh, have been doing a really good job when they're in the colony and they're covered in bees at, at keeping at bay. Uh, but they, once they're out of the colony and they're not doing that, then naturally those, those um, eggs can, can hatch and you have problems. Uh, you don't want to store them away for winter, come back in the spring and open it up and have just a mess of, of uh, you know, webbing and such from the uh, wax moth. So the way we store them is pretty simple. Uh, the first thing we do is make sure they're clean, they're not wet. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we, we get them out of the, uh, the colonies or, and, and, and get the bees to clean them off so there's no wet honey on them, feed it back to the bees. And then we put them in a freezer. We put them in a freezer, a chest freezer for uh, at least 48 hours minimum and that kills off any of the eggs uh, or um, you know, any of the things that the small hive beetle or the wax moth will leave behind. Uh, we'll then store them in our boxes um, we'll take a, uh, just a, a telescoping cover, flip it upside down, uh, start to stack our boxes on top. You can see these are all filled mediums. Um, we're going to stack these mediums on top of each other and make sure that they're lined up tight. So there's really not a lot of gaps or space. If you have boxes that aren't level and have space or gaps, um, you may want to repair them and seal them. Uh, and then you're going to take just painter's tape. I just take regular painter's tape and I go along and I seal each one of the boxes. And what this will do is this will keep any uh, other pests, wax moths, small hive beetles from getting in during the winter time. We'll go and do that whole entire stack with this painter's tape. We'll continue to do all the seams all the way down. We'll actually even take a piece and we'll put it along the edge. Sealing that entire edge off as well. So none can get inside. I put them on one of these moving dollies just so I can move them around the shop pretty easily. If I need to, you know, move get them out of the way. The next piece that you need, or the next critical piece, is something that I get. Um, this is just a drawer that's called a moth drawer. Um, you can dand it, sons. You place that directly on top. And inside the drawer, you uh, pour para, para moth. And Paramoth is the only thing I recommend using in there. It's a crystal that you're going to pour just a little bit of sprinkle on the inside. You can see that. You go back and check it. But I just pour a small amount. It's pretty potent. And what it does, it's actually heavy when the fumes um, come from the, the, uh, the crystal. And it'll emanate, it'll flow, and it'll fall down in through the screen on the bottom, and it'll go all the way down through the super on the bottom, all the way through these supers. That'll keep the moths from nesting down in there. They happen to get in. And you'll want to take 
naturally seal this, that as well. Leaving your drawer open, be able to check it and refill it if you need to in a couple months, month or two during the winter. Last thing you want to do, you can just take a standard inner cover that has a hole in the top of it, put it on top, make sure you close up your hole. Piece of tape as well, set that on top, and you'll seal that as well to the top of the uh, And that's where you're going to do all the sides all the way around to this stack. And that'll seal all your supers up, get them ready for winter. Make sure you can keep your uh, wax molds away from it and get rid of the small hive beetles if there's any in there too from uh, freezing it. So that's how we uh, prepare our supers for the winter. Now you're going to keep that in a dry, dry place in your shop. Uh, you can move it around if you have them stacked up on one of these furniture dollies. But um, they'll be ready then for the, the spring. You'll want to make sure that when you're ready uh, to take this out in the spring, you're going to pull all the tape off, take the, uh, the, the drawer off the top, and you're going to take these outside and air them out for at least 24 hours uh, in the spring. Uh, the wax moths and the small hive beetle are not uh, out in about early spring, so you won't have to worry about them. Uh, but you can air them out in your shop or you can air them out in your, your garage or, or wherever. But usually just uh, during the daytime, put them out, let the air flow through the supers. You can stand them up just like we had in the very beginning, let the air flow through. And then you can take those frames and supers, put them right back upon your colonies, uh, and they'll start working them again. So that's how we prepare our supers for the uh, winter. Make sure we keep the pests out of them for, uh, and then uh, get them ready for the spring. If you like what you see here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with your friends. Comment below if you've got any suggestions on how you prepare supers for the uh, winter. Uh, and uh, happy to hear from you. And uh, thanks for uh, following and uh, appreciate the input and, uh, and, and share with your friends and subscribing to the channel. So thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for watching. We're hobby beekeeping here at Bohemian Apiary. It's more than a hobby. It's, it's an obsession. Thanks a lot.